very bright. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Just Kick the Dancing Avon Lady, and today we have a product review video and first impression on the new Love Kiss Me Cushion line. Ooh! So this is a cushion blush, and the exact name is the FMG Colors of Love Kiss Me Cushion Blush. That's a mouthful. Um, FMG, I think it's, it's fashion meets glam. Another viewer on YouTube, Kathy, thank you, uh, told me that FMG, and she said T. Um, I don't, we don't have the T at the end, but FMG also stands for Fashion Makeup Group, meaning it's part of LG's Color Cosmetic Collection, which is cool. Today I am testing out this new blush, and what I'm really excited about is the fact that it is formulated with hyaluronic acid, uh, non-GMO water lily extract and green tea extract. So I've been doing some research as I always do and hyaluronic acid, you know, it's uh, holds, I believe it's like something like 600 times its weight in water and it instantly like hydrates and moisturizes your skin. Um, but the benefits of green tea extract, some of them are a little bit interesting, but anyways, the benefits of green tea extract is that it could help with acne um, and anti-aging. It also helps with irritation and according to the Healthline website, you should consider green tea as part of your acne regimen. So I don't know if maybe for this will also be good for people with acne prone skin. I have one beautiful one coming up right here. Uh, I think it's because I didn't change my pillowcase in time. According to the Healthline website, it showed that in 2012, uh, a review of 20 studies indicated that green tea extract has been shown to potentially be effective when applied to the skin and taken as a supplement for things like acne, uh, atopic dermatitis, as well as some other things like rosacea and other things that I'm not going to mention. If you want to check it out, check out the Healthline website. Um, I, I love going to Healthline website. I just, it's such a great resource. Green tea and green tea extract can help with your acne, help your skin look younger. And apparently it also has the potential to help prevent melanoma and non-melanoma skin cancers, which is really big. So wow, this is full of goodness. I read also that green tea helps with reducing skin. It can also be like anti-inflammatory uh, and it also helps to treat oily skin. So because this is also a water-based formula, if you have oily skin, this might be right for you too. Um, I don't, I mean, I have combination skin with slight oiliness around my T-zone, but my cheeks have always been pretty, pretty good. But I mean, I'm still really excited to try this out. The other really interesting ingredient in this is non-GMO water lily extract. And I've never heard of using water lily extract I'm learning so much because I'm now doing so much more research for the videos, guys. Like, honestly, thank you for teaching me so much or making me learn so much more about this. It's really interesting. But this is also formulated with non-GMO water lily extract. And according to the cvskinlabs.com website, water lily is beneficial for the skin because it can help soothe rashes and irritation. So again, helping just to like like a water lily. When you think of water lily, you think of zen, relaxation, calm. So this will help you do that for your skin. The water lily extract will help to stop irritation and allow your skin to relax and restore itself to a more healthy and comfortable condition. Sounds amazing. You know, it's just that time for you to just kind of sit back, relax, and go, Usa, let my skincare products do its work. But this is not even a skincare product. This is a makeup product that has skincare benefits. I love multi-purpose products. So if you love multi-use products or multi-purpose products or multi-functional products, let me know. Hit that like button. Show the love for these beauty products with skincare benefits. Water Lily also helps to brighten and create radiance for your skin. Ooh, it moisturizes dry skin. Wow, this is like good stuff, guys really good stuff like really good stuff how exciting so this here the fmg color of love kiss me cushion it has a buildable sheer to medium coverage but it includes an applicator and a mirror oh perfect that's great so this is very transportable you can throw it into your purse or your bag or your travel bag but we can travel again although there are more people who are just kind of like traveling within their country so guys whatever you choose to do and this is definitely not a pandemic video, but whatever you guys choose to do, just be safe, guys. Just be safe. Please be safe. That's my plug-in for that. But um, it comes in four different shades, and there's also a highlighter and a bronzer. I am kicking myself. I did not order the bronzer. I might end up ordering it this campaign, and 
trying it out. I'm still debating on that, but um, it does have a highlighter. I've been loving using the VDLs as my highlighter, so I haven't, I didn't get the highlighter, but I did want to try out the blush because I have been using the Face Shop's Moisture Cushion Blush for the last several months, and I freaking love this. This is my go-to blush, guys. I use this so much, but because I am having, um, but because I do have a little bit of a tan right now, it is, totally have to put that in. So before we continue on with this video, guys, if you're new to this channel, make sure you do hit that subscribe button as well as that little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. All right, continue on with the video. I have been using this moisture cushion blush from the Avon collaboration with the Face Shop for several months now, and I ridiculously absolutely love this product. I just love how it it's very sheer on my on my skin, but it also gives you this nice dewy glow, which just, just kind of like exudes radiance. Like I'm just like, ah, which I really, really love. So I'm really excited to see how it comes pairs with the Love Kiss Me Cushion Blush. The Love Line is also one of my favorite mascara lines. I mean, I've talked about this product for like ever and we've actually just come up with a uh, waterproof version of it so I will do that in another video later on. I really really love this product. It's just, it's so easy to use. It's cute. It's compactable. It doesn't leak. Um, yeah and so literally it's such a very very sheer like it looks really bright in the package but the actual product itself is very very sheer like you can barely see it it's just like that little hint and kiss of color the thing is because i do have a bit more of a tan right now is not showing up as well so i did order another one here and the one that i ordered is called orchid kiss this particular product there are four different shades including orchid kiss midnight lily sweet pea and queen carnation i don't ever want to say really color family because i say hey you do you you be happy with what you do um but the sweet pea just so you have a better idea the sweet pea is more of like a warm coral so it has i guess a little bit more of an orangey tint to it the orchid kiss was just the one that i ordered is more of a fuchsia the queen carnation is more of a dusty rose and the midnight lady is a plum and berry so let's start opening this up now it does come with the antibacterial puff applicator as this one does and it says one dab at a time lightly pat onto your cheeks for a natural healthy looking flush you can use as little or as much as you like i love the fact that it comes with cardboard packaging because it is recyclable Ooh, very nice check that out it comes with a protector for the so it doesn't get scratched up i guess during transit oh very nice very chic very sleek Ooh, and shiny i love shiny okay so this is the color yeah, it's supposed to be quite bright. Let's see. Compare it with this one here. Uh, maybe I got one that's too similar. We'll see. We'll find out. This one doesn't have the button. Like the, the face shop one has the button that it pops up. So this one you do have to lift. Oh my gosh. Expecting me to lift stuff. Okay. So you just lift it up. And there is a protective film on the inside as well. So let's remove that. This is the antibacterial um, makeup sponge. And I love how soft these are. Like that's one thing I really noticed is that it is incredibly soft. I love the fact that it also has two lids so that you can just literally just place this in, cap it close, and you're on your way, which is nice. All right, let's pop this open here. And there should be another removable sticker. Oh, 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 look at that. Oh my gosh, I love it. It is super duper bright. It might not match my lipstick right now, but that's okay. I'm wearing the flat velvet lipstick, guys. If you want to see a video on that, up here. On this side or that side? One on the side. You guys know what to do. Here it is. Wow, it is gorgeous. I don't smell much. Okay, so what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to tap it in once. Wow, that looks like a lot of pigment just came out. And so here I had the cushion blush, the moisture cushion blush from the face shop in the pink O2. So I'm going just to tap. Oh, <gasps> that's really bright. Wow, that's like super bright. Wow, okay. Wow, definitely a lot brighter color. <laughs> I might have gotten too bright. We'll see. We'll play with it. But wow, that is like super pigmented. Okay, so a little bit of this product is going to go a long way. With the Moisture Cushion Blush, I do tap on quite a bit. But this one, I think I, I, I need, I'm going to need less than what I put on here. The color is really pretty. All right, let's test this out. I do have a little bit of foundation on, guys. I have a very sheer layer of the Cashmere Complexion 
long wearing foundation and the color that i have is marshmallow it is a little bit light but like i said i just did a really sheer coverage today just to have slightly more evenness because i do have this beautiful pimple that is on this way to meet me i'm not gonna put any more on because i think this is already a lot so um a tip that i learned from one of our field sales trainers and if you are an avon representative or even if you're not go to the avon.ca website and you can click on the events calendar and there are some trainings that are available for clients as well or if even if you haven't registered in as a uh, representative but if you want to become a representative click my easter link down below guys all right here we go so let's test this one out so according to our field sales trainer i believe denis um you start off on your cheekbones here because that's where most of the pigment's going to go and then you tap down and up down and up down and up so that's what we're the uh, the the method we're going to try today Okay. Oh, holy bright. Oh, it's so bright. Wow. Wow. Okay. Very, very, very bright. <laughs> I feel like... I feel like when I was probably eight or nine years old and I went into my mom's makeup collection and I'm like, ooh, blush that is the look that i have right now so i'm going to take this and because i didn't put anything on the other side i'm going to flip it around to the bare side and i'm going to blend 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 blend, blend. lots of blending guys lots of blending this is a lot of color this is a lot of color oh lots and lots of color okay so Oh, 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 now that I'm blending it more, I do like it more. And not that I didn't like it at first. I mean, it's just, it's, I put way too much on. But look at, <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, you definitely see this a lot more. And I smell absolutely nothing. Like, absolutely nothing. Breaking out into a bit of a sweat from all the blending that I'm doing. Totally kidding. Let's take a peek. Oh, wow. Definitely a lot of color. A lot of color. And a little bit of this is going to go a long way. Like, a long way. But it is really pretty. It's really, really pretty. And drying, let's see. It's pretty much already dry. It's just a little bit dewy up here where I've been putting a little bit more, I guess, or like tapping. So it's not streaking. So the thing that you don't want to do is you don't want to like streak it up like this or else you'll just get like, like a paintbrush style. You want to really, really just dab, 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 dab. Another thing that was uh, suggested for us not to do is smile and then apply the apply because what's going to happen is it lifts your cheek up and then when you come down, it the the blush is going to be a bit too low. So you want to be on just on like kind of like the tops of the cheekbones and then a little bit under the apple of your cheeks. Okay, it's very bright, very pretty very bright yeah, it has just like a little the teeniest tiniest little bit of iridescence i don't know if you can see it because it is so fine the iridescence is super duper fine yeah so this definitely you need very little <laughs> very very little yeah, i'm just taking my beauty blender and just kind of dabbing and blending a little bit off because i think when i initially put it on it's just a little bit too much oh yeah yeah, yeah. oh yeah 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 Okay, let's finish up the other side. See, super blended, not blended enough. You can tell the difference. Five-year-old Jesse, what I would do? More older than five-year-old Jesse. Oh, much better, much, much better. So if you ever have too much, take your, your favorite beauty blender and just dab off. That's the beauty of makeup. Even if you make a mistake, you can just dab it off. All right, okay, so that was just from like one tap of product, guys. Mind you, I did a, bit, a little bit harder of a tap. Take a peek. Mm, 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 mm. I think as my tan gets darker too, this is definitely going to be even better. Store, just place it in here, close the lid, and you're done. A little tip for you guys with your cushion products. As you use up more and more of the products, instead of storing it right side up, store it upside down. Instead of storing it this way, I would store it this way as I use up more of the products because then the gravity will just kind of bring the products to the top of the dispenser um, and I you can just kind of get more use out of it overall it is a superly high pigmented product and so if you're looking for a portable mess-free solution with a lot of punch 
to your makeup, definitely this is a fantastic product for you. I think that if you want something a little bit more natural looking than what I just did, I mean, this would be a gorgeous, gorgeous color for um, if I had a more of a neutral lip. But just today, I really was playing with a wing eyeliner and I really wanted to have a red lip. So I think with for me today, with the blush and the lipstick is a little bit too much. Um, it's definitely quite vibrant. <laughs> It does create a really, really healthy glow, which is nice. And it has just that teeniest, tiny little bit of iridescence. Like just a little bit of that sh shimmer. This is also great for people who are looking more for the texture and the application of a liquid blush versus a powder blush. It's a really fun product to use. It is super bright. Again, like that is just from one like tap of product. It is so bright. And then here is the cushion blush. So you can definitely tell the difference in the color. I feel that it is definitely a more uh, pigmented product than the moisture cushion blush from the Face Shop Avon collaboration. Once again, this is the color of love kiss me cushion blush i think that i can have a lot of fun with this product with different looks again with maybe a more neutral lip and just really highlighting a blush kind of like marie antoinette there's this makeup look of marie antoinette i love it it is so gorgeous i want to try it I haven't had the time or courage to try it yet although like i said it's makeup i could just wash it off but um, i do definitely want to try it so yeah i really like this product it's really fun to use it's compact it's spill proof which are definitely always great benefit check out all the different shades that are available the orchid kiss is the brightest shade if you're looking for something a little bit more um a little bit lighter probably something like uh, the sweet pea or the queen carnation would be good it's very very light and it doesn't have like a weird sticky texture or anything like the texture of my skin feels fine i don't see any of the product on my fingers after wiping it off my face and it's also not really wiping off after it kind of you know sets um you can always also finish it with a finishing spray i haven't really tried a finishing spray guys what are your thoughts on finishing sprays i i do want to try one um just to, to kind of test it out i always think like finishing spray is kind of like hairspray for your face <laughs> sounds so weird if you guys enjoy these types of videos make sure you do let me know by clicking that like button and also letting me know in the comments below what type of blusher are you are you a powder fan are you a stick a stick fan i can't for the life of me i can't remember what it's called guys it's adia or do you prefer liquid blush lately i have been loving liquid blush if you're interested in learning more about the products and seeing all of the different shades available in the blush the highlighter and the bronzer make sure you do click my easter link down below in the description box and while you're there check out that join avon button have you ever considered opening up your very own online avon store and selling across canada you could become a beauty brand ambassador test out products try out products give a review and Earn on the side. I will be here to mentor you the entire way. Just reach out to me. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> you close the door. My husband is camera shy. <laughs> I totally have to put that in.